And I would like to know who loves spending money on products like toilet paper, toothpaste, and cereal? Yes, no one. Especially being a poor college student, you do not like spending money on products that take away from other things you could be spending on. Now this is why I started uh, couponing. There are a variety of ways to coupon, and many different degrees of it, varying from saving a few cents to saving hundreds of dollars. But today I will explain to you exactly what couponing is, and then I will give you three reasons as to why you should consider couponing for your household. According to hiptosave.com, the art couponing is the art of matching coupons with store sales, rebates, and other promotional offers to get the lowest possible price and stock up on much needed supplies. Now, couponing requires lots of dedication and organization. Coupons come from many different places, such as um, the internet, magazines, uh, newspapers, and from the actual products themselves. Many couponers have their own blogs where they dedicate these to um, finding the best deals for people, giving detailed information about how and where to find these deals. And these people are able to save hundreds of dollars a year from their saving habits. This brings me to my first point. My first argument explains why you should consider couponing, and it is because it saves money. The amount of time you are able to put into this activity will determine how much you are able to actually save. So th the more time you invest in clipping coupons and finding the best deal, the more money that you will be able to save. In order to save this money, you must be able to effectively combine your coupons with the sale events. My couponing has basically become like my part-time job because I, I'm able to stretch the income of my house um, of what my household makes. And over the past four months, I've personally been able to save over $700 on food, toiletries, clothing, and um, other items. Why would you spend $4 on a tube of toothpaste when you can get it for free? Especially when many of these products are brand name products. This leads me to my next argument. My second contention for why you should consider couponing is because you are often able to, able to get better quality products. Many of the big name products spend their money on advertising by sending out coupons. And um, when combined with sales and other coupons, these name brand products can end up being cheaper than the generic products. For example, a box of off-brand Rice Krispies costs about $1.50. By using my coupons combined with the sale, I was able to score three box boxes of Rice Krispies um, at 75 cents each, which is about half the price, which is half the price of the generic brand. Now it's important to note that you will not always find these good deals. So um, this is where the couponing term stockpiling comes into play, which basically means that you stock up on non-perishable items when they are on sale so that you don't have to pay full price for them later on. Combining deals and planning out shopping trips can end up being a lot of fun which leads me to my final argument. When I first started getting into couponing, it was to save money. However, the reason that I stuck with it is my last argument. Couponing can be lots of fun. Couponing is very similar to bargain shopping, shopping for clothing, which we heard about earlier, um, simply with other items in mind. One of the major component, components of couponing is strategy. It can be a challenge to find out what coupons um, you are able to use, how to apply them, when to apply them, how many items to buy, etc. But when you take the time to gather all the information and apply it to a purchase to save money, it can be really rewarding. Now, after hearing a few of my arguments for why you should consider couponing, you may be ready to grab your newspaper and head down to the store. Um, however, not everyone is cut out for money, this money-saving hobby. Wikipow.com gives a few tips for people who are considering taking up this activity. One way to figure out how if couponing is right for you is to see if it fits into your schedule. Another tip they offer is that if people are entering the scene of couponing is to make sure that you have a polite but firm personality. Um, it's important to be able to stand your ground when conversing with the cashier about coupon policies while also may, remaining respectful. It is also important to build up a knowledge of 
typical product cost. That way you will know if a particular sale is really a good deal or not. The last tip they offer is that you need to be fairly organized and patient um, when you're going through coupons because otherwise you will end up getting frustrated. Now before I, I send you to the couponing world, I will show you my personal stockpile. Um, the three pictures on the right are some pictures of the stockpile that I have saved up for my household. Um, the picture on the left is an example of one of my recent um, couponing adventures. I spent $6 on all these products, which you can see, like, the there's two things of deodorant in there, which are basically $6 themselves. And not only was I able to just spend $6 on these products, but I ended up getting almost $15 in um, rewards back to that same store. So basically, I was getting paid to buy these items. Now, today I've explained to you what couponing is and give you three reasons as to why you should um, consider couponing. You can save money, get better quality products, and even have fun. Couponing is useful for many people, and even if you're on a tight budget, it never hurts to save money when you can.